Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So I'm going to go over episode number two here. This is going to be kind of a construction slash uh, time lapse video. Uh, I'm going to spend a few minutes here, uh, maybe longer than I think, going over kind of where we stand here. Our, our first uh, rendering video, I think, was in late December, and it is now early uh, February. So jump into this. We got about a month into this. Uh, probably got about 25 hours into demo and new construction on this so making super good time and so what I'm gonna go over is just uh, what we're building here rendering on the right hand side on the bottom will show the view that I'm talking about and then I'll do some time-lapse and then I've got a video wall that's going in the lobby and I got a time-lapse of me framing out that wall so I'm gonna go over first here is what we've got so we've got our current stone arches this right here where my hands at would have been the existing cabinet door for the secret door coming in right here there was an RTI touchscreen the drywall wall and that was kind of the bar area. So if you were sitting in the bar, it kind of looked like you were in the bar with a cabinet with some toys and uh, model cars. So we wanted to change and get our lobby to extend in there. Uh, we found at gatherings and parties that people were actually out here hanging in the bar and it was just packed. So kind of extend that into the lobby area and uh, really get some kind of grandiosa lighting and some other cool features. Uh, a couple quick things that we are gonna change. So these epic skylights up here in the ceiling so those are getting changed. Those are gonna be American lighting. Those are gonna be a uh, like a CCT uh, color changing, get like 2,700K or 3,000K to get the stone to look the correct way. And then jumping over here, the only other changes really on the bars, we're changing these three lights out, again, to wash this wall better with better color lighting. And then the ceiling speakers, these were uh, four Klipsch Pro 14 RCs, which didn't really have a lot of output. They sounded plenty good, but they didn't have any output, even with the subwoofer that was with them. These will all be larger KEF speakers. And then on our uh, poster wall here for our game boards, those three lights are going to get changed out to the American lighting uh, Brio cans. We're just actually changing out the can fixtures. Again, color temperature and color changing if we want. And then jump into the new stuff that we're built. So you can see we've got our arch here that's now going to continue. So that runs down. We've got our new cubby here for our wine fridge. So we'll have a wine, uh, wine fridge slash beverage center. Then we're going to end up having a cabinet for, you know, popcorn or storage, maybe uh, throw movies in there. Uh, walnut countertop, uh, all architectural stone from El Dorado. So Sacramento limestone and uh, same corresponding stone that's what here to kind of blend it rest of the way in. The back wall will be a motor and a brick, also from El Dorado stone. And then on the back cabinet here, we're going to have a LED strip light to wash that wall coming up, wash the stone. Got a little light there that we kept for uh, be able to see what we're doing. And then up in this little cubby hole that's really rough construction still is gonna be a really cool kind of a small, real elegant uh, chandelier. And so that kind of gets this whole entryway with that first view kind of sorted out how we want it to look. Uh, obviously we gotta get the stone in. Uh, flooring is gonna be the same travertine. So this is actually not plywood, it's dry core. So it's a uh, plastic barrier with uh, moisture on the bottom. And then we've cemented it in and then we'll actually waterproof this with a mastic type material. Uh, we did this on the rest of the floor and this stone, you could throw a hammer on it. You could hit it with a sledgehammer, it locks into the wood and the mastic all super well. So no issue there. Uh, jumping into this view here. So curved walls, you can see um, digital movie poster goes in here. That's from digital movie boards. That's gonna be a Sony, uh, give you a better idea. That's a Sony 49 inch with picture frame around it. So that actually ties in with the Kaleidoscape or just digital movie board app to uh, see what's gonna be playing in the cinema, which is in the background. You can see the old cinema in the background. A uh, couple quick things we have changed in here. Uh, we omitted the second digital movie board. It was just too much. We've got our video wall built and I'm gonna end the video with me building the time-lapse of that video wall. We've got our wine cellar racking uh, gonna go in here with a glass window. So that's a 48 inch, it's actually a 50 inch by 50 inch opening, but when it's all done, it'll be a 48 inch piece of glass. And then the reason for that, you can see it's set up a little bit and I'm gonna walk in there and I'll show you what I got going on with that and why we're doing that. So if I walk into the wine cellar, kind of sneak around to this wall. So you could see 48 inch by 48 inch window. And then if you look at these boxes here that we've stacked up, you know, we have a really nice travertine wall here with a real decorative wine grape. We're gonna move these boxes, a few of them, and 
extend those along the bottom and then on the top of those we'll do a little display racking so we'll basically do one bottle of wine this way and one bottle of wine that way and so when you're in here you got these cool wine boxes and then you'll see the bottles of wine for display and then if you're in the lobby you'll see the wine bottles going the other way and then of course you could look into the wine cellar itself and see all the wine um, and lighting in here and then we might even put a little tiny mini chandelier here to give it something ceiling height in here is real low that's what we're what we're dealt with all right i'm gonna jump back into the lobby and so if i turn and i'm gonna walk over to the video wall and so if my back is against the video wall so kind of going over this again cinema door lighted we've changed the entryway to the cinema door and the rendering showed it with tile right up across the front We've set that back so we can put a little light there, another light, another light, and wash across the steps. Cinema door, that's not changing. We're doing a separate video on that. It is giving us the ability now to put a couple lights up in that cubby hole to let it glow. That'll be nice. Again, digital movie board, stonework, stone arch wall, and then the cubby hole. So cabinet, wine fridge, popcorn machine, motor and a brick, and Eldorado stone on the curve. So really just all stone as if you were in Tuscany. And then jumping in here again, wine cellar glass, and then video wall, which again, I'm gonna end the video with the time lapse of me doing the video wall. But what I'm gonna go with here is we've got three pop out video wall mounts, we've got three 55 inch Samsung displays, those are the pro displays that allow us to do video wall. We are going to do a speaker here from Sound Advance or Stealth Acoustics that's a uh, invisible. So actually works in the drywall more about that later another one here for your right and then probably in this corner we'll do a left subwoofer uh, so we got basically a little 2.1 system in here to run off the video wall or just play music that'll tie into the bar system and I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here that we're changing dramatically we talked about the digital movie board going away and then the last big change in here which I'll make we had a cove in here with a chandelier and cove lighting the inner cove is going away that was a recommendation by one of our uh, customers that watched one of our videos and said hey that doesn't look right it's just symmetrical it doesn't look right so what we're doing is we're going to go complete drive all over which also allows us to get our speaker in here better and then we're doing a full cove all the way around so and then the last thing on that is this cove will come out frame it out we'll have lights going up and then this one arched wall will be a curved LED extrusion that will have the light shining down the wall so that whole wall will kind of glow the stone so you can get this much money in stone might as well light it up and let it glow and I think that's going to end this one here my next video episode 3 I'm going to get all our electrical roughed in or our low voltage roughed in um, that will give us the ability to start drywall and get this thing tiled in and ready to go and so let's go ahead and end it I'll uh, end it all here on the video wall and hope you like the video uh, please subscribe this is just the lobby portion of it so we haven't got into the cinema or any of that that's going to be a completely uh, separate giant build but we'll get this one roughed in first all right thanks a lot